Hi, welcome to our Speaking of Women's Health series on menopause, a how-to survival guide video series. Today we're joined again by Dr. Holly Thacker, one of the nation's foremost experts on women's health and the director of the Cleveland Clinic Center for Specialized Women's Health. Dr. Thacker has served as co-investigator of various hormone therapy system options, which is why today we're going to speak with her about bioidentical hormone therapy. Today, I really would like to know what exactly is bioidentical hormone therapy? Well, when most people use that term, bioidentical hormones, they mean the exact type of hormone that matches a woman's own female hormones. So women who have symptoms and need hormones and only want natural hormones, we can certainly treat them with regulated prescription therapies that are safe and effective. What I'd like women to understand is if they're using compounded hormones only by unregulated sources, they may be exposing themselves to, to risk, but they don't need to. Okay, so your overall opinion of bioidentical hormone therapy is? I think if you see a menopause specialist who is practicing and prescribing controlled, regulated bioidentical hormones, that is fine. And I think if you need to have hormones compounded, like some women do, mm -hmm. for vaginal DHEA, topical testosterone, we do that because if they're not commercially available, then they do need to be compounded. However, there is plenty of natural estrogen products by spray, gel, patch, vaginal ring that are prescription and they're regulated. So there's no reason to compound those for most women. And the same thing with progesterone. Natural progesterone can be obtained uh, through a prescription medication that is natural progesterone in a capsule. However, for those women who smear on creams all over their body for progesterone, that does not protect the uterus. And I've seen a number of women with uterine cancer because they were on these compounded creams instead of seeing a physician that specializes in this area. Doctor, is there any time limit for hormone therapy that you need to stay within? Well, I'm happy to say there is no time limit to feeling good. So if your body stops making hormones, there, it's never gonna make them again. So if you don't feel well off hormones, there is no time limit. Many women take hormones their whole entire postmenopausal life. That being said, we do change the dose because with aging, the metabolism changes and sometimes we can use lower doses. And is there any increased risk with breast cancer after you start taking uh, the hormones? Well, most women are very worried about breast cancer. However, estrogen alone does not increase the risk of breast cancer in women with a hysterectomy. And using hormone therapy for five years or less does not appear to increase the risk. For more nationally leading insights on women's health from Cleveland Clinic doctors, please log on to speakingofwomenshealth.com. And while you're there, sign up for the Speaking of Women's Health e-newsletter. It's free and it offers a lot more great advice and guidance.